All right, guys, so the second weekend for the new Super Mario Brothers movie was phenomenal. So now Mario scored 92.5 million in its second weekend here in the US and crosses 700 million globally. That's in its second weekend. So today, let's talk about what those numbers mean. So I wanna talk about a few things here, including the competition, the films that rolled out this weekend. So first, let's talk about the importance of Super Mario Brothers making over 90 million in its second weekend. Overseas, the movie made around 94.1 million from 71 markets. That's just a 28% drop from last weekend's record-setting opening. Normally, when a movie makes over 100 million in its opening weekend, the second weekend will see around a 50 to 60% drop, and that's pretty normal. This movie, the percentage was significantly less. Now it dropped around 37%, which is crazy. That's a crazy low percentage uh, for a movie to drop in its second weekend. That's being reported by The uh, Hollywood Reporter. Now, that's huge. And that's huge because of a couple things. Number one, it shows that the holiday weekend that Mario Brothers opened up wasn't a major impact on why it did so good. It did well because positive word of mouth, people were excited for the IP, people just wanted to see the Mario Brothers movie. And that's reflecting in its second weekend. Now, the second thing that I wanna mention is the competition. Now, there was competition in the box office, and that came in the form of Nicolas Cage in Renfield, and the other movie was The Pope's Exorcist. Both of these movies have a horror spin on them. One of them is a little bit more comedic. Now, with the two new movies being released in the box office, um, competing against Mario, it showed the lasting power. In my previous video, I talked about the importance of the second and third weekend, and how the first weekend isn't really all that important. It's not a telltale sign of how well the movie is going to do. And a perfect example of this is um, the Avatar films. Um, and same thing with a movie like Titanic. Now, the first Avatar movie when it was released made around 70 million, and the second one made uh, around 130 million. But they went on to be the largest grossing films of all time. Now, with a movie like Mario, it opened to 146 million domestic. That's a really big number. And for it to not have a drop that is more than 50% and it was actually less than 50%, that's a really big deal. That goes to show that this movie is definitely going to have legs. How long those legs are, we'll have to wait and see in the third weekend. Now worldwide, again, the movie has passed the $700 million mark, making that $1 billion dream really not that unimaginable. Uh, it can happen. Now the performance in its third weekend is gonna be a big deal. That's gonna show us whether or not the movie is gonna make a billion dollars or not. The third weekend is kind of everything right now. And I said that in my previous video, if you haven't seen it, check that out here, I'll link it above. So where the new Mario Brothers movie can go from here is really up in the air and totally up to the third weekend. What do you guys think? I wanna hear your thoughts, sound off below, and let's talk about the records that Mario is setting. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.